The red tide fish kills are creating a crisis for Florida's most densely populated county, Pinellas County. Yeah, and take a look at that video. It's crazy. Eight on your side is speaking with people living along the water who have no escape from the rotting odors. Pinellas County Bureau reporter Christine McClarty joins us now live from Coffee Pot Park with more on the problem out there. Christine. I'm wearing two masks because the smell is so bad. It's not only people that live along the water that are impacted, but families at the park. And then if you go just across the street, the smell seeps into the neighborhood. These contracted cleaners spent hours in Coffee Pot Bayou Thursday cleaning up what some call a red tide graveyard with machines that look like boats with cranes. Just trying to help out, that's all. Thomas David Cooper doesn't live on the water, but can still smell the effects of red tide in his neighborhood. I like to see St. Pete looking better than it is. Thursday, he spent two hours trying to help. Always have a mask on, and you probably should uh, if you're down by the water. Yeah, it does stink a lot. It actually does smell worse than over here. Seven-year-old Christopher Jr. and his dad, Chris Tidwell, are trying to enjoy a day at the park. They came here to escape their house that is on the water. I'm no millionaire. Uh, I'm a single dad, and uh, I just, it's just me and him. And we just so happened to buy at the right time when the market was down. I just made a good investment, and so I was lucky enough to live on the water. Most of Chris Jr.'s summer vacation has been dwindled down to indoor activities with the occasional attempt to go out. You got about five more minutes before we're going to go because it just stinks. It smells better at the house. Cooper says he hopes more people in these neighborhoods start to help clean. People should be pitching in a little bit more or a lot more. Some people don't pitch in at all. And we spoke with some people back in the neighborhoods just off the water who say they won't even brave the park because the smell is so rancid. Reporting live in St. Petersburg, Christine McClarty, 8 on your side.